Do you guys remember the last time we vlogged in this car? No. Have we ever vlogged in this car? Georgia. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Georgia. Where are we going? Georgia. Chipotle. Do you guys know how to open the vlog? Hey guys, this is Claudia. Welcome to my vlog. Hey Today guys. we are going to be talking about why nursing school sucks. I usually never say that. I'm very positive. <laughs> hey you guys. About nursing it's school. hey you guys. It's you guys. It's always you guys. You guys. Hey you guys. See? You guys. We're going to Target. Okay, first we're gonna tell them the day so they understand the context of the days. Okay. Okay. So you go. What's up you guys? <laughs> What's up you guys? It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. And <laughs> I worked all day today. I had clinical all day. I had clinical all day. They have clinical without me. I just almost got a car crash. And then we went to the beach, but nobody got the memo except me that we were going to the beach, so I was the only one who wrote a bathing suit. Um, anyway, and now we're going to Target to get Cadbury eggs so Katarina can try them for the first time. And then we're going where? Chipotle. 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 Where were we going to go? Awesome. But then we all kind of got over it, so... Thursday. Oh, I guess what we all have in common. We all failed our dosage calc. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god! Hi, Hi. Hi. Oh my god. All right, you guys, we are back home from work and it is time to whip up some dinner. So tonight I'm having pork chops. I was never a pork chop stan until I actually started dating my boyfriend and I realized that pork chops did not equal shake and bake. So we're gonna do pork chops, a pasta side, and then broccoli for dinner tonight. I'm very excited. So we're gonna get all that prepped. So I am using the Grillmates Brazilian Steakhouse. I have my pork chops in the bowl, and what I will do is just follow the instructions on the back. It's super easy. So we need a fourth cup. This is a tablespoon. We need a tablespoon of red wine vinaigrette. And to be honest, I probably should have the pork chops defrosted and then I put them in this bowl. Probably shouldn't have done that. And then we're gonna do a fourth cup of water and a fourth cup of oil. And I'm telling you guys, this is just like one of the easiest meals ever. Pork chops take absolutely no time to cook. So I love them as like a good dinner for School, like especially on a school night because if you just have the pork chops, it's just like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then you just take your seasoning. Today was kind of weird because I actually left work way earlier than I should have because somebody that wasn't scheduled to work showed up. And then I was like, do you just want to work since you're here? I'll go home. So I'm going to also prep broccoli and this is the pasta side that I have that I'm going to be making. I love these. These are usually always on sale at Publix. Um, so I'll just pick up a bunch when they're on sale and then they're really great because they're a great side to just like throw in and again, super easy. On school nights and nights where it's like really busy, this is a good way to kind of get like a home cooked meal without all of this extra like prep work. And then I don't know you guys, I also have these crescent rolls and I feel like maybe crescent rolls would also be good because I don't have that many, um, like I only have the two pork chop pieces. So, and then I'm only gonna have one pork chop piece, but I don't know if like the crescent rolls is like too much. I might just make them to be honest. I think I'm gonna make crescent rolls too, because that sounds kind of good. I have this cute Target set on, but like, I don't wanna wear it anymore. I wanna wear my man pants. Like it's giving man pants night. All right, Jenny, I'm blocking in my hands. I'm gonna the sun. Hi. Hey, you guys. Welcome back. It's Tuesday, and we just did some damage at Marshalls and Target. And so we're going to show you what we got. <laughs> okay, I guess okay. I'm starting? Yes. Yeah, All right. So from Marshalls, let's see. I got a wet brush. I never used one. I got some new... This is the star of the show. Yeah, this is the sure star is. of the show. Mm. Look at these bad boys. I I've never seen like a rose gold. The reflect, whatever. It's the They're quay so at Marshall's for us. Jensen says you say key though. Key. 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 Hi, key. <laughs> 
Okay, and then we all got matching cups. Everyone, show your cup. Howdy. <laughs> and then I got, this is very random, but it has a purpose. Cola candle. <laughs> These are really good and I've never seen this flavor. Chili Verde with fire roasted jalapenos. That's not good. And then the huge facial razors, I always get these. If you know, you know. It's not PCOS, BT Dubs. So that was my Marshalls haul. Now Target. Okay, I guess I'm gonna do, we're gonna all do each of our hauls. Okay. Wow. Okay, Target haul. We're gonna go kind of fast, because Q-tips, because the ones I have suck. Razors, eyeliner, mascara. This is all for the wedding I'm going to this weekend. Powder. What brand do you have? Wet and Wild. Wild. Yeah, mm -hmm. translucent. Elf, I think that's the right shade. And then I also got this lotion. The girl said that this is the best, so we're gonna see. Cause I, you know. Elf came out with pimple patches. We got some tree cut. And what are you laughing at? Jenny's just like, <laughs> like where is my Okay, Mom. and then we all got this, I think, too. Everyone, get it out. Yes. Oh, oh well that sucks. <laughs> Wait. Alright, we'll get an action shot. Elf, you're welcome. You can use this for organizing. So okay, camera Cute. All right, and that is everything I got from Target, and I'm not allowed to shop for two months now. Next. Okay, I'll start off with Target. We got the Elf. Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, we got um, the vlogging <laughs> future for me. <laughs> this is so fun. Okay, I got the Elf highlight one and then the contour one, just because. Ooh, <laughs> I've heard good things Isn't about it. Isn't it hard not to be? The very first video I ever filmed, everything I showed, I made weird noises. <laughs> and I was like, why am I doing that? Ooh. And then I also got the lotion, because mm -hmm. I've heard really good things about it. We all could have pulled out the lotion. Yeah, oh, we yeah, all got sure. the I forgot lotion. we all got the lotion. And then Marshalls, I got the... Stop, it's Jenny's face. I can't wait to zoom in on that. The, the um, Get Ready With Me headbands. I got... We're going to film a Get Ready With Me. We're going to film a Get Ready With Me. One. We're going on a girls trip. In June. In June, guys. Stay tuned. You sound like you have so much more to say. Loofahs. Um, hair towels. I think. Oh, and then I got this. Um, I really like this brand. And it's like a first aid mask. beauty. Ooh. And this was all $39. I was very impressed. I am also a first aid beauty stand. The Same. Ultra Repair Moisturizer Cream is like yes, really good. Yeah, they have some in there. Yeah. Oh, did they? Yeah, it's a like, small one though. It's mm -hmm. thick, but it's good. It's I also, really good. my favorite sleeping mask is the Laneige or Laneige okay. water mask. Oh my God, it's so good. good. And they usually have it at Marshall's. Jenny. Okay, my turn. I got, this is from Marshall's. I got a small hairbrush for my car. It's pink, guys. Look at it. Um, and then I got this bag to put the hairbrush in. Really Look at the bag. really pretty pattern. It actually pattern. is super cute. It's very Jenny. She has a lot of these like quilted bags. I do actually. Um, that's it from Marshalls, and I got the cup. She only got two sides. Oh, get the cup out again because I don't think they saw it. Like we'll get them oh, the close up. Yeah, they have to see the. True. It just looks the clear. 3D. It's hard to see from the back, but it has like little Ooh, flowers. It's Jenny. Yay. Okay, and then. I also got the lotion <laughs> in that. And then I got <laughs> the Easter flavor of the nerds row. When did you get these? I know. I thought you should. It was <laughs> before we <laughs> When did you get these? It was before we went to the um, makeup section. Jenny showed I me saw them. them. I didn't know she was getting them. Like, oh, look. Um, Hello? Um, I got body wash it's ocean breeze this is for jenny's boyfriend because jenny's boyfriend does not get bougie things not unless he buys them for himself <laughs> or asks me to get it elf pimple patches also and then i also got the vanilla tree hunt scrub and then i got oh, this let's get some asmr oh wow uh, you can only smell it. And then I got the Health Hydrating Camo Concealer. Because I heard it's a good dupe for the NARS one and I'm almost out of my NARS. It is a good dupe. I never used the NARS, but Yay, I used that. That's and it. that was our haul. Woo! We also went to Tropical Smoothie. Can't show you that.
Because we ate it. Um, we got our toasties on. We <laughs> so I am on hour like 30. I'm trying to think. I woke up yesterday around noon. So 24 hours and it's three. So we're at like 20 hours of me being awake. And I work tomorrow day shift. Um, it's gonna be my first day shift. I'm probably gonna be sitting again. So I'm not really like feeling any type of way about it. Um, other than I'm just excited to be on a normal sleep schedule and then tomorrow I'm doing an everything shower because it's a wedding weekend and my new set should come in tomorrow Which is exciting as well But yeah, I decided to just take the L today for my last class Which is maternal because I feel very good about the content and I still have a lot of days to study Like I said, I'm practically I'm going to be able to study all day tomorrow I have the flight on Friday, clinical on Friday to study, and then I'm sure like I, we're not gonna go to lab on Monday, and we might skip our peds class on Monday as well, just to cram um, and get some extra time in to like recover and sleep from the craziness of the wedding weekend, because we fly back Monday and our exam's Monday afternoon. So I'm really excited, I think it's gonna be good, and I'm feeling really excited about this maternal exam, because I just feel like it's gonna go very well. I'm gonna like slow down, and read the questions and just, you know, calm down. You know, I need to calm down a bit. So yeah, that's what's going on. I'm headed back. All my friends are going to class and my boyfriend's going to class too. So I feel kind of guilty. I like asked him if he thought I should go, but he said no. He was like, I think you should sleep. And I'm like, say less, I'm gonna sleep then. So I honestly just wanna go home and like shower. Like I brought my lab clothes, but I just, I, I don't know you guys, my feet be sweating. Like, some people, they sweat under their arms. For me, it's like, it's my feet. My feet are just built different. Happy Thursday, you guys. Today, I was supposed to work a day shift, but I mean, it's actually not funny. Like, it's not funny at all. I should not be laughing, and it's been a very traumatic morning for me. So today, I was supposed to work day shift, as you guys know, and I was really looking forward to it because I was going to, A, get to work with my boyfriend and B, um, I was just excited to be on like a normal person's schedule and have like, you know, just be on a normal person's schedule. So we were going to carpool to work and my, um, <laughs> badge is in my car. So I go downstairs and I'm like, where's my car? Because my car's not there. So you know, it was a fun morning trying to figure out if my car had been towed or if my car had been stolen. So he went to work and I stayed back while I figured all of that out. And basically, long story short is they had the wrong address and phone number on file. And I thought that I had auto pay on, which I did. But if you guys know the debacle, there are three things that occur every day in my life, okay? three revolving things that are just personality traits of mine. Number one, my tire always needs to be filled with air. If you guys have been here for a minute, you know this. Two, I'm always going to have a cola Celsius. It's just, it's attached to me. It's a part of me. It's like, I can't function without it. Pretty sure it runs through my veins. And then <laughs> three is this debit card debacle. For some reason, my bank and I just cannot get on the same page. Like I have the digital card while we wait for the like physical one to arrive and the digital one expires every two months. And so I call the bank and I'm like, you do not have my address on file. And they're like, yes, we do. And I'm like, no, you don't because I haven't gotten the card yet. And then they read it to me and it's the correct address. But for some reason, I just can't get it in my mailbox. Like I do not know what's going on. So it's like this joke. Um, but it's not really funny because then it puts me in situations like this where it's like I do have auto pay on but if like I just forget or I miss switching the card over on auto pay when I get my new one every two months then things like my car getting repossessed in the middle of the night um they happen so that's how I started my day off today with car repossession okay <laughs> it's, it's not funny because like it's actually like a really big deal when you get your car possessed, but thankfully like the situation was totally resolvable. So essentially what happened is I called the police department 
they had record of my car being towed by the tow company called the tow company and then you have to call like your lender so i called my lender and i was like hey but mind you like this is at six o'clock in the morning i'm leaving for work okay so places aren't opening until like eight so i call and i'm like hey what's the 411 i'd like my car back and they're like yeah no problem like you just have to because you have a grace period that you're like allowed to pay after your car gets taken obviously i don't recommend your car being taken i recommend just like like for me now i'm not sure i'll ever trust auto pay again i like to just have like a calendar where i go in and i make my payments on whatever the scheduled date is so basically what it's called is if you're in a position where you can like afford it you can either pay out your loan like in full or you can just like pay whatever wasn't paid so for me it was like the two payments because the card never updated um and so the auto pay just like went through and then for me too like they were like oh you know yeah we didn't give you any type of like notice or that i had been defaulting to like fix it if that makes sense so i was like yeah like i just thought it was like on auto pay and i don't think you have the right phone number address or anything for me i was like how did you even like find my car is actually pretty like impressive um because like i said they did not have the right address which is why i was never receiving anything to fix the problem so it was a cute little moment this morning it's been a very expensive morning because obviously like you think you're like paying for things so i paid anyway it's all good i'm getting the car back my friend's coming in a little bit to come pick me up and then we're gonna go get it um after we stop at the bank because i have to pay the tow yard for having my car so it's been a morning i did not work the morning shift i think like honestly i'm gonna just like sacrifice like my mornings like i'm gonna just give them up because um yeah i think it's just not meant to be me working morning shift and you know maybe i'm just meant to be a nighttime girly you know i don't know we'll see we'll stick it out i felt really bad calling out this morning especially because it was like late but you know i think if you go downstairs and you don't have your car it's a pretty valid reason so i called like the supervisor and i was like hey um and like my voice was like trembling and i'm just like hey um my car is either towed or stolen i don't know where it is but i'm literally leaving for work and like i'm just not gonna make it in right now and he was like so that's my morning but anyway long story short double check your auto pay <laughs> and this is this coping mechanism for stress like I am so beyond proud of myself for the way that I handle stressful situations because like I'm not gonna lie to you I have cried today I have definitely cried today but like I held it together so from six to eight until I heard her say on the phone that everything was okay because obviously I'm thinking like people get their car repossessed all the time like for me yes I got my car repossessed but it's like an accidental situation it's not like I couldn't actually make the payment and that's like a really stressful situation to be in so for me i was like worst case scenario what if like they don't let me do this like even though like it's all accidental but it just goes to show you that you know we're just girls and if you're just a girl you're gonna make mistakes and you're gonna goof and things are gonna happen but i think the moral of this story is that everything works out and it's all gonna be okay i think that's the moral of the story okay we are cat has picked me up these are not the new glasses you guys saw in the hall because those glasses are in my car. And we are in Sneffner, Florida to <laughs> pick up my car. <laughs> and we're trying the local cuisine out here, McDanks, because we're hungry and my appointment is at 12.45 sharp. No cash. Only cash. Only cash. Only cash. No, no change. change. <laughs> and that's about the only update we have right now. It's gonna be my first time having McDank. Mc <laughs> McDank. <laughs> McDank's McNuggets since post veganism. RIP. All right, you guys, I'm back. My car is in my possession again. Very exciting. And now it's like one o'clock. So I have a couple things I have to do today to get ready for the wedding I'm going to this weekend. So I'm going to self tan, but I figured it's one and it's still pretty early. So I'm going to run to the gym pick up recycling bags. I'm trying to get back on my gym grind. We've been falling off. I think I told you guys I was going to start going after work. So next week, that's the plan. Uh, we have to see. 
because I picked up a few shifts at the restaurant next week. And so it's going to be like a little bit of kind of a chaos. March is going to be actually the most insane month ever. I'm working like every single day up until like our finals. And then I have a week off, which is going to be so nice. So I'm going to come back, do laundry. Um, there's like literally a bra falling out of my bag. So we're going to go to the gym, hit a workout. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to walk on the treadmill and then I'll probably hit like a little arm day. And then I want to try to make it a point next week when I come back to go three times a week. I know for a fact I can go on Tuesday. I want to say I work Wednesday night at the hospital. So I'm probably not going to work out Thursday before my shift because Thursday I will be a double. And then um, I'll probably work out either Friday before clinical or I'll be able to work out Saturday and Sunday morning um, after work. So, cause I'll probably work Friday night, I think. So yeah, work Friday night, go to, go to the gym right after, come home, sleep, and then I'll work Saturday night. So I'll go home on Sunday. That sounds right. All right, you guys, this is one of my favorite little hit workouts. Just grab a weight and put it in between and hit some abs. And then we're gonna go into an overhead, toss the ball into a squat, get a quick little body weight workout in. And then these steps side to side, I'll do like 30 second intervals and you just go as fast as you can without tripping. And I'll do this probably three times. Okay, you guys, we just got home from the gym and it was a really good workout. And I decided I am going to go ahead and put myself tan on now because it's only like two o'clock. So I'll put it on and I can literally leave it. It's an hour express. So if I leave it on for like four or five hours, I should still get a really good tan. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys the process for the tan. Like I said, I shaved the other day. So I should be good on the shave. I'm gonna shave again before the actual wedding. Um, so, and I might just go in and touch up again today, but to self tan, I love personally, my favorite is the, Bali Body One Hour Express. This gives me the most natural looking tan compared to anything. And I have two of them, so I'm not sure which one is like older, but so I've got two of these. My self tanning mitt. It's got to spoof for a second. You know, here's the deal. Okay, the self tan's on, as you can see, it's sitting in. Got the purple clip going, the grout fit, long sleeves, like I said, long pants, and these socks. And here's the deal. I'm never going to come on here and just act like, you know, it's pure perfection all the time. Do I try to wear cute things and like have cute outfits? Absolutely. But girl, sometimes the cute outfits are not comfy. And also you got to do what you got to do. So it's like, this is my girl fit. This is my tanning outfit. By the way, it just came in. One thing about me is when I'm going on a plane, I'm ordering a set from White Fox. Me and the BF are about to be looking fresh. He didn't get anything from White Fox, but he could pull it off, he could pull it off. Okay, so I ordered something from the Project 5. I have been eyeing the grape set, you guys, and I really wanna get it, but it's just so bold. And I was like, you know, let's just chill for a sec. I did size up this time in the sweatpants. I obviously can't try, it's really loud. I obviously cannot try this on right now because I have myself tan on, so I won't be able to try it on until tomorrow, but I'll take a little video, a little airport fit and show you guys, but I love the color. So yeah, I ordered a medium in the sweats because the small are small and they are like tight. So this is the medium. And I think these are gonna be good because they'll be like baggy and that's the vibe. We want a baggy sweatpants. Sweatpants are not supposed to be tight, okay? They're supposed to be loose. What a day I've had today. Like, this is all the same day as the car, and it's just like kind of crazy. Like, how much of it is going? And then I didn't get a sweatshirt. I actually got the hoodie. He's so cute. So this is what the back of it looks like. Love. And the front. And in the hoodie, I got a small medium because they're oversized, just like very oversized. This will be perfect. So I'm really excited because I'm gonna wear to the airport. So cute. 
I'm so excited, you guys, for this weekend. I really need it. All right, you guys, here she is in all her glory. Honestly, one of my best whiteboards. So kind of all over the place, but this is like an overview of what it looks like. So this exam is on postpartum. So I kind of have, let me just get up close. I feel like this is like a good section to kind of show you guys what the vibe is. So in black on like the headings, I have, those are essentially what they are, like headings or just like things you need to know. This I added in at last moment. So it's like the overviews assessment, and then I go through like fundal assessment, low key assessment, breast assessment, you kind of see. And then red started out as just like what you need to know and orange started out as like abnormalities and blue started out as education. And then it kind of just like transformed. So obviously I started using some like colors or like to note that that's like an expensive medication. And then I ended up just working in some other colors that kind of took away from the theme of the board. But essentially you can see like here, you know, what is a normal finding for the breasts? Like, the everted nipples abnormal would be inverted and then the breast milk educational points and if mom's not breastfeeding what do you want to do which technically is considered education but to me that's more of like don't forget you know like you need to know that um you need to know mom is in sims and these are the things that you're assessing and with an epidural you need to know that there's an increased risk of infection but here it was like hematological changes i put that in red because for me i was like red makes me think blood neurological blue respiratory green and then um you know mastitis i was just thinking like the breasts like you know pink and so that's kind of how i did and then in normal i had the green and then postpartum findings is pink because they're not necessarily abnormal but they're like postpartum so this is kind of how everything turned out um like i said i love a whiteboard session so that's her and i already did my reflective journal so this is gonna like wrap up my studying for the day and now I'm gonna kind of just do some house stuff finish the laundry and then get my stuff together for packing tomorrow night I'm not wearing any like makeup or anything so I'm gonna go in and just kind of pack my makeup up for the wedding because I love packing like the day before so that you really don't need to be stressing and tomorrow we're actually kind of gonna be cutting close to get to the airport so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and start that and start the laundry